All right, here are the recommended tools you should have for this job. Um, you definitely need some way to tell if the power is on or off. So this is a voltage sensor. When it's turned on, it will. You put it in the receptacle, and it will beep if the power is still on. Good for quick check. And of course, your trusty multimeter. If you don't have one, you might have a friend that might have one, or but the voltage sensor will work. A flathead screwdriver. A Robertson screwdriver, green Robertson screwdriver that is, or Phillips, Phillips head. They both will work. A pair of wire strippers wouldn't hurt. An optional, maybe a pair of pliers. They call those linesman pliers. Definitely optional, some electrical tape. And you never know if you might need some wire connectors. And I also recommend safety glasses. There you go. Let's get to it. Okay, so our first step and most important step is to make sure the power is turned off. And I have two methods. I have um, this device here which will beep when the power is on. That tells me the power is on. And then of course I have my multimeter. One hundred and twenty one, twenty two, one hundred twenty volts. So we have to make sure the power is turned off. Okay, so here we are at our breaker panel. Some older homes will have fuses. And remember, the first step always is to turn off your power. So these are all your individual breakers for all your branch circuits through your house. This one up here is your main breaker. And the listing on the sides will tell you which each breaker. It's supposed to be. So for our bedroom that we were working in, we were changing our receptacle. It's this one, number one, it's saying right here. Or sorry, number two, this side, number two, one, two. We're going to turn that one off, and then we'll go back up and verify that our power's off. Okay, we turned off the power, and just to verify, zero volts. If I put my voltage tester in. It's not beeping anymore. All right. Take a flathead screwdriver. Remove the plate. And then you can either use your Phillips or a Green Robertson, which is my personal choice, the Green Robertson. Remove the screws. And as you can see, this it's been paint, the overlapping of the paint here. Sometimes, well it's starting to let go already, but that's pretty good. But sometimes you may have to take your knife and just score. If it's tons of paint on there, you might want to just take a knife and score this here and there, but it seems to be coming away pretty good. Pull the receptacle out, and you're going to see you have black wire, a white wire, and then a bare copper wire that you ground. The black is what's called the hot wire, the white is called the neutral wire. So we'll take our green Robertson again, or you could use your Phillips. Remove white wire. Ground. And of course, if you have lots of wire left, you just take your cutters too and you can just cut that off. That's all. Okay. 
So let's imagine that was how you remove the plug instead. So now you're left with your ends here. You're going to need to take your strippers. This is number 14 wire in this case, so you need the number 14. Strip about that much wire. You're going to put some hooks back in the wire like this. And a ground wire too. It's important that the ground wire is attached to the receptacle. Okay, so we're left with the three wires. Our new receptacle, if you notice, has a gold color screw, a silver color screw, and a green screw. The black wire always goes on the gold screw, and the white wire always goes on the silver screw. That's your neutral, and then your hot side, and then the green screw is for ground, the bare copper conductor. The ground, this is the ground here and here. Doesn't matter if this is this way or this is this way. Um, our personal choice is grounds up, but there's no rules for or against. If you like the happy face look, put them that way. Doesn't matter for or against. So, now when you're putting your new wires back on, you're going to want to make sure that it's twisted in the way that the screw tightens down. So I'm going to hook that on there like that. And in the same direction, I'm going to tighten the screw. It's going to really grab that wire. Nice and tight. The extra screw we're not going to use, but we do want to tighten that down as well so it's not sticking out. Flip the plug over, take our, take our white wire, same thing, it's, it's curled in the direction the screw is going to tighten. Okay, take our Green Robertson again, nice and tight, extra screw is not being used. Let's tighten that one down. Ground screw, the bare copper. I'm just going to pinch that a little better to give it a better close. Green Robertson again. You can use a Phillips if you prefer. Tighten it again. Okay. So now it's sticking into the wall, we're going to want to shape these wires so that it's not gives us room to get our receptacle back in the wall. As you can see I'm kind of just bending them there and you want to make sure that this wire is nowhere near these screws here or the screws on the other side but it's more important that they're nowhere near these screws here. Push them all in, clear away the old debris. Now in some cases the box, if the box in the wall is very old and these, the mounting holes get stripped out, you can use this device here which is a, a threader and it will re, or a, a, I guess you'd call it a tapper if you will, threader tapper, depends on where you're from. Um, get a close up on that, you can see it has the tap so you can, this is not essential but you don't want your new screws to get all stripped out. So we'll just re-tap the holes. This is not an important step, by the way, but just in case, a little extra. This is, you, there's no need to have this. Okay, so now we're going to remount the receptacle into the box. And again, doesn't matter if the ground is up or down. You can, if you want to put it in that way, Take our Green Robertson and the bottom screw.
Now these you don't have to, you want to crank them just so that the tighten them just so the receptacle is nice and tight in there so that when you're plugging things in it's not moving all the way. We have our new plate, flathead screwdriver. Tighten it in. These are nylon plates, they won't break. You can tighten that screw right in. That's it. Turn your power back on. Enjoy your new receptacle. You can leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks.